Hello guys, it's Talk to Your Midwife session. Uh, there are a lot of questions about what causes a baby to die inside the womb. That is called intrauterine demise or IUFD. Intrauterine fetal demise when you are, your baby dies in the womb before delivery. Uh, there are so many causes of that. Uh, as we know, for one to survive we need oxygen and we need our heart to be healthy so that it can be able to, uh, to, to, to pump well and then our brain should be very much okay and healthy so that it may be able to control all the systems of our body. Now the same thing applies to the newborns inside the womb and most of the things that will control all these might be not what is in that baby's um, that baby's uh, body but what is in the mother's body. Everything that the mother has is the one that will control the survival of that baby. And the connection between a mother, the connection between a mother and the unborn ch baby is through the, uh, the the umbilical cord and the placenta. So anything that will come to affect the placenta and the umbilical cord means that uh, it will cause, uh, 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 it will affect the survival of the unborn baby. Uh, what the, the, the things that causes the death of the, a baby will mostly affect either the mother, the oxygen supply to the baby, the placenta, or the umbilical cord. Number one of the causes of these things are any maternal health conditions. Diabetes and hypertension, which are not well controlled, will affect how the mother's body is operating and hence it will affect how the mother is sharing oxygen, nutrients and glucose from herself to the baby. So any, any alteration, if the hypertension and diabetes are not well controlled, they will end up affecting the oxygen supply, the glucose supply from the mother to the child and hence the baby will not be able to survive without glucose and without oxygen. So it will end up dying in that womb. So your hypertension and diabetes should be well controlled. Another thing is the compression of the umbilical cord. Some babies have quite long umbilical cords which sometimes when a mother has rupture of membranes the umbilical cord will come out of the vagina even before the baby is delivered and when that happens it means that the baby will will pre compress the umbilical cord. The baby will press on that umbilical cord. So if it presses, it means that there will be no uh, movement of blood throughout that uh, umbilical cord. So it means it will, the oxygen and blood supply will be, will be completely uh, uh, will be completely affected, so the baby will not end up surviving. Then there is a maternal hemorrhage. When when a mother is bleeding due to some factors, maybe you have an, had an accident, or maybe your placenta, the the placenta starts to detach before delivery. Ideally, the placenta should be intact until you deliver. But in case something happens and you have some trauma and the placenta is shaken and it starts to it starts to, to, to detach from the from the uterus itself then it means what was being offered by this placenta is cut off so it means there will be no oxygen and uh, blood supply from the mother to the baby so this baby will not survive that's why we always advise in case you have bleeding go for an ultrasound, uh, get the cause of that bleeding. If it is something called placenta abruption, then you should deliver that baby immediately because that means that the placenta is starting to detach from the uterus and it means your baby will not have any supply of oxygen and blood. So uh, also, any, the mother's bleeding, in, in case it's not even the placenta abruption, in, in case the mother has a, 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 a medical condition leading to her, to her bleeding, it means when she has less blood in her bloodstream, the blood pressure will go so low. So it means then there will be no enough blood and no enough supply and no enough pumping of the mother's blood supply to the baby. So the, the mother's body will be fighting for itself. It will be already in, uh, 
in in less it will be less so it will be fighting to 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 just have it satisfied so by the time the, so it means this baby will not be getting enough and when the baby is not getting enough of the oxygen supply and their blood supply then it means uh it won't survive. So, in case a mother has hemorrhage or low blood pressure, it means it won't be able, uh, she won't be able to offer enough to to the baby. Hence, the baby will not survive. Uh, another thing is um, uh, preeclampsia. The, we, we, the, there is a condition of uh, we have high blood pressure. Then, when it appears uh, quite high after 20 weeks of gestation, 20 weeks of your pregnancy, we call it preeclampsia. Now, this preeclampsia, if it is not well treated, it gets to the worst condition that is called eclampsia. Eclampsia is a very high blood pressure that is not well controlled or it's not even uh, well managed uh, and it leads to a mother having convulsions and fits just like a, a, a person who has epilepsy the way they they convulse when the people who have epilepsy convulse this uh, the same situation the mother who has eclampsia will will end up convulsing and getting fits mostly the cause of these convulsions uh, is because the mother doesn't have enough supply of oxygen to her brain and you see, for the brain to function well, uh, for the brain to control the heart, the lungs, the major parts of your body, it has to have oxygen. And oxy oxygen that will be uh, oxygenation of uh, the brain. So in case this does not happen, this mother will end up getting fits and convulsions. So what, what means is, the moment this mother is having fits and convulsions, she doesn't have enough supply of oxygen in her own brain, Definitely it means that the baby is depleted of oxygen and hence the baby will also be depleted of even blood supply. So if that is not, uh, if that occurs for some time, the mother has the first fit, second fit and the third fit, you find that this baby might not survive at the end because the baby is lacking a, a lot of oxygen, the baby is lacking enough blood supply. So this will cause a, a baby to die in that womb before delivery. There is a condition called recess incompatibility. Res, I had talked about it in some previous videos. Recess incompatibility will cause a situation where the mother's blood will go and fight the baby's blood. So the mother's blood cells will go and fight the baby's blood cells. Hence, when that happens, there will be no survival of that baby. So that's why we need to know our blood groups and our recess uh, factor so that we may be able to get the right management so, that, so as to save, uh, to save our babies from dying inside our wombs. Another thing is congenital birth, birth defects. There are, so, there are some babies who are uh, have been let's say have been conceived or have been created with some abnormalities which might lead to their death. Some abnormalities of the brain, abnormalities of the heart, and abnormalities of the lungs. This mostly will cause their death even before delivery. Then there is oligohydromnias. Oligohydromnias is having less liqua or less... Um, uh, what what we say is uh, the water of the baby. You see, we, we say the baby inside the womb is swimming, in swimming in, in liqua. So, if this liqua, uh, uh, if, if this liqua is less, is not enough, then it means the baby is not well well kept, and the baby is not well um, oxygenated. The baby is not. There is no enough perfusion when there is less. Uh, like what? when there is that less water. So if you have this condition called oligohydromnias, mostly it's untreatable. So you might end up losing a baby even before term. Another thing is drugs. There are so many drugs that a mother can take which can directly kill the baby. So let's be keen on the drugs we are taking so that we can be able to avoid issues of where our babies are, are affected. In case you have a you have a surgery, even during CSs, when we use the general anesthesia, sometimes the mother might go to might have uh, uh, might go to a condition where the, the general anesthesia is quite irreversible. That one also can. Can, can make one lose, lose her baby even before the baby is removed. Thank you.